Have you ever lost your pointer on your desktop or in your presentation? I have. Whether single screen, dual screen, doesn't really matter. A large pointer is easier to see on a slideshow and even on the local desktop. Some folks do not like a large arrow because they say it it overshadows some of the commands in File Explorer, Windows Explorer, and some other things, but you have to weigh the pros of versus the cons for a change like this. You can change the size and the color of your pointer in Windows by going to the Start menu, type in Pointer, then select Change the pointer size and speed. And lastly, you'll see a scheme drop down. And from there, you can select which one you want. So again, it start menu, pointer, type in the word pointer, change and select change the pointer size and speed, and then whichever scheme you want from the scheme drop down. Now, PowerPoint has options for the pointer in it also. Let me switch to a uh, quick slideshow and we'll show you those options real quick. If you just right click from any, well, from any, from any slide, you'll see the pointer options. Laser pen, pen, highlighter, the ink color for those things, and then arrow options. Let's go over them real quickly. Laser is just like the old timey handheld lasers people used to use to draw attention to a particular item on a slide. A pen will actually write or annotate onto the slide to draw out attention to whatever it is you're working on. And I believe there's a way you can erase it. Yes, there's an eraser option also. You can use a highlighter to highlight certain keywords or key points in your slideshow. And of course, you can change the color. And we've already talked about the eraser. And now as far as arrow options, you see there are three options here, automatic, visible, or hidden. I recommend always keeping it visible so that you'll lose it less. So to recap, you have the laser option, you have a pen, you have a highlighter, and then you have options for your arrow, which you've hopefully increased in Windows. Best of luck on making your pointer larger, and hopefully you will not lose it.